Welcome to our lecture online and in this example again we're going to try and determine if this is an exact differential equation of the first order. The rule is that for it to be an exact differential equation of the first order the partial derivative of a with respect to y must be equal to the partial derivative of b with respect to x a being the first part of the equation b being the second part of the equation. But we got to be careful because notice here we have a dx and a dy and here I have dy dx, so they're in the reversed order, so let's rearrange the order of this equation. So here we can write 3y squared dx plus x dy is equal to 0 in such a way that this here is our a and this here is our b. So let's take the partial derivative of a with respect to y and see what we get. So the partial derivative with respect to y of a, a being 3y squared, is equal to, well this would be 6 times y, and then here we're going to take the partial derivative with respect to x of b, and b is equal to x, and there the derivative of that, that would be equal to 1, and notice that 6y is not equal to 1, so therefore this is not exact, and we will not be able to use the technique of the exact uh, first order differential equation to solve that particular differential equation. Instead, if we want to solve the equation, what you then have to recognize is, okay, we have to separate the variables. So in order to solve this equation, you would go ahead and move this over the other side. So you get x times dy is equal to minus 3y squared dx by moving that to the right side. And then moving things around, we'll have dy divided by a minus 3y squared is equal to dx divided by x, and then of course you'd go ahead and integrate both sides of the equation and solve for the solution that way. So since it's not exact, not exact, you can employ the technique that we've been using in this particular video series. And that's how we know that either to use the exact differential equation technique or some other technique to solve the differential equation. And that's how it's done.